It is so good to have you as part of the park. I've never had a Baryonyx in this game before, except for Dino Diaries, and so it is great to finally check that off the list, baby! Welcome to the flip side and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution where we are back on Dr. Wu's secret island doing all sorts of secret things that really aren't so secret because clearly we're doing some kind of advertising to get people here into the park. And so how is it a secret? I have no idea. Makes sense to nobody, but no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you leave, sir, 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 sir. No, no, not the rifle, not the rifle. I need to take a picture of this guy taking his little nap. Look at that. Put it on your wall. Send it to your grandma. And uh, I completed a mission. Boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-
<laughs> if you really think about it. All right, so let's go ahead and we're just gonna toss power station right there. Love it to death. All right, and then what we can do over here, let's just go ahead and expand this and build like another enclosure connected to this enclosure. Um, or should we have, let's see, there's probably 100% dinosaur visibility, would be my guess. Um, where is my visibility rating? Seriously, though, <laughs> where, where do I see that? I'm, I'm forgetting where I see my visibility. Unique? No, dinosaur rating, base rating, authenticity, modifications, you know, welfare penalty. Oh, someone's upset, and I know why. It's because I left this poor Ceratosaurus over here. Always forgetting guys back there. I apologize. I apologize, people. All right. As soon as you see him back in his place, you'd be totally good. You'd be so happy. Oh, dinosaur visibility, 67%. And that's only because that guy's over there. So we can go ahead and build another one right here. And it'll look awesome. Uh, ooh, but if I do that, the rangers will be unable to access... Huh. Yo, okay, you want a toy Isaac shop? Here. I'll get to it. You know what? For you, for you pal, I mean I'll do it right now. For you to do I'll do it. For me. Okay. Sounds good, right? Here, here I am struggling right now <laughs> to figure out <laughs> exactly what it is that I want to do with this park. All right, so what we're going to do... Gosh. We need to create our foundation. Like, look at this. Look at this path. What purpose is this serving? Except to be obnoxious. That's it. That's the only purpose it's serving right now. So we've got we've got some problems to solve. All right, and then we can build our monorail track and really start pumping out the dinosaurs and the profit from the guest facilities. So we can put one more enclosure here. That's a that's a large enclosure that I'm leaving room for here, but I'm kind of digging it here. So we're going to go ahead and do this. All right. And we'll put an enclosure right in there. And then the, another enclosure can run along horizontally right here. That'll look, that'll look really nice actually. So let's not line them up perfectly. Cause okay. I'm going to line them up perfectly. I can't help myself. <laughs> Everything needs to be built on the grid. All right. So let's go ahead and it's like Tron. Everything's on the grid. If that joke did not make sense to you, then you've probably never seen Tron. Either of the Trons. I personally like the Tron Tron Legacy. Is that what the new one was called with Jeff Bridges and Daft Punk? That was a pretty sweet movie. Actually, that's one of those movies that I can just toss on in the background and just kind of have playing. Ah! Just kind of have playing in the background. <laughs> There's a couple movies that I enjoy like that. And that is one of them. All right, all right. I'm digging how that's looking. That's a big walkway. Um, which you're probably going to have to break into smaller sections, but not necessary for this exact moment. All right, so what we need to do is just get rid of this crazy long skinny path that we've got going on here that really serves no purpose and what we need to do everything over there is going to lose power though so we can't leave it like that for too long but what we're going to do is make that path right there and then connect that guy everything should be powered up again why am i still out of power somewhere where is that the monorail station how requires power broski you got power we are not out of power on this island yet are we unused power too wow we have maxed out our power what the heck i was really not expecting to do that so quickly did i forget to send these guys out again oh my gosh that is so embarrassing that's so embarrassing and now i'm dang darn broke oh crap that was not what I meant to do, and it's because of those fancy paths. I should have listened to the comments. I've wasted all of my funds on paths. And I don't regret it. 
I just, I don't regret it. I love my connectivity. It's too good to let go. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And our facility rating is probably, oh no, disease contracted. Hold on. No, we don't need to add a new team yet. We've got two stinking pins of dinosaurs. What do we need a new team for? Come on, son. Keep it under control. Keep it under wraps. All right. We have to build a monorail station. Probably four. One here. This would be a good spot for a second station. And then we could have one over here and one over there. And that should create really nice connectivity um, for our... For the park that should give me my 100 travel rating which my travel rating currently is 100 oh but that's because there's nothing else going on anywhere in the park wow my dinosaur rating is in the poopy all right maybe before i continue with my infrastructure plan perhaps i should build another enclosure uh say for Baryonyx? Yes. Let's go ahead and do a Baryonyx. We've yet to have like an aquatic carnivore. And I think that is what the people want. That's what they want. That's what they're telling me at least, okay? And I listen to the people. All right. But really, I probably shouldn't listen to the people too frequently because a lot of the time people don't even know what they want until you tell them what they want. All right. Call me a cynic. But it's kind of true. It's even true for myself. Like, there are several things that I ended up really enjoying that I'm like, I never would have thought I would have enjoyed this. And then you end up enjoying it, and you're like, how did I live without this? Like, for example, uh, the Avengers? How in the world did we live in a world before Marvel movies? Probably because we had a lot of other better movies. But, eh, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes... Sometimes I begin going down a rabbit trail and then I'm like, Ugh, I don't even really believe in what I'm saying at this point. So I'm just going to stop and stop trying to vamp and we're just going to build. That's what we're going to do. And you guys should be real proud because I'm not, I'm out of money. I almost finished it. <laughs> I was going to say you guys should be proud of me because I am not trying to make it absolutely perfect. That is way good enough. I mean, I have no money. But besides that, we are looking fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and grab a contract real quick. Because obviously I'm, I'm hurting for some money. It's a dangerous world. Successfully incubated dinosaur. Okay, so I have at least dangerous. a... Oh, what? This contract can Returning help us to base? Dang it, dude. Confirmed. Didn't even medicate our friend. Oh, I, can, I guess I can medicate him this way, right? No, no, no. Uh, Q-E. Hey, hey, all right. We got two people working on medications. If we cannot figure that out, then we have got some major issues that must be resolved. Okay, I might have overspent. I'm going to throw it out there. I may have overspent initially. I mean, thankfully, we're making plenty of profit, so it's only a matter of time before we can continue renovations. <laughs> but here we go. 54,000, 100,000, 80,000, 100,000, 36,000, 72. Okay, so there we go. A little bit of extra money. But really what we need, ugh, really what we need is another stupid, you know, you know, power station. Hmm, guess people who aren't even going to be able to look at the dinosaurs. <laughs> They're going to be like, ooh. I mean, I don't know why they can't just look through the fences. There's clearly slats. It's not like it's really that hard to no see through, but... All right, fantastic. We got we got a bunch of healthy dinos in the park. Oh, it's Baryonyx. Right, so let me think. I'm assuming water's kind of a big deal for this fellow. That might be too much water. Actually, let's, let's go ahead and... Do. Dinosaur threat, probably the stupid Jeep. That Jeep is always... Oh, vehicle destroyed. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> go ahead and just replace it. Dang it. That's not money I wanted to spend right now. All right. Let's go ahead and throw in the food. We need that fish feeder. Beautiful. We need a gate for our ranger team. And then we're going to have to figure out how to get more electricity over here in a little bit. But currently, let's just throw in a couple trees because obviously 
Grassland, coastal, vibrant, crag. Oh yeah. These these baryonyxes like like the crag. Don't even know what that means, but we're gonna roll with it. All right, and that, my friends, is how you make a baryonyx pin. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's how you make one. I don't know. I've never had a baryonyx in this game before, outside of like Dino Diaries. So, we are going to find out together. How much is a basic baryonyx going to cost me? Wow. No modifications, $742,000. That's a lot of dollars and cents. Too many dollars and cents, really. All right, let's go ahead and dump these, because obviously we are not in need of that path currently. Man, I might have might have built this prematurely. I just got excited. I just, I just got excited. Okay. Ooh, 360,000 and 80,000 and 72,000, 36,000. Sweet. Hopefully I can send them back for one more. Dang it. I cannot. All right. So we're just going to send out one dig team at a time because we don't really have the money to fund a bunch of expeditions at the moment. We will, we will get there again, but let's go ahead and get our Baryonyx and not do any kind of special modifications because we can't afford it. <laughs> That's really the only reason. And we need to get another power station going or else we're not going to be able to power our viewing platform and people aren't going to be able to look at the Baryonyx. And I want to make a storm defense station and another emergency shelter, but I really don't own the money for it. I got to do the power station first. That needs to be the next purchase is the power station because the monorail, I mean, it doesn't really matter that it's not powered right now, but I would like to continue building on the monorail track, but I couldn't even do it if I wanted to. I could probably build the small 450, or if I just save another 225, I can get to the medium. And we're almost there. We're at 546,000. And once, you know, once the guys come back up from their fossil expedition, they're going to be like, hey, check this out. You can sell these fossils. And I'm going to be like, dude, thank you. I appreciate you. All right, what is that? That looks like something that's saying that there's a path. Is that what that symbol is? I thought that was the disconnected path symbol. But maybe that that's the... I actually don't know. What is this symbol? Let me know in the comments below. I know this means no power. And I thought... Oh, is that a fence or something? I see a building and a fence. What, is this not sealed? No, that's that's sealed. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, so let me know in the comments. What, 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 what is going on there? All right, 689. That is enough for me to make my medium power station. And then we can go about building out uh, some more guest facilities so that we can up that profit per minute that we've got going on. Sweet. So we're going to connect it there and there just because it's pretty. <laughs> I cannot help myself. Symmetry. So, symmetry. Wow. Symmetry. If I could speak. All right, and we're going to have a Baryonyx. Man, that guy is taking his darn dang precious time. That was a very profitable trip. I'm going to keep sending them back there because they keep coming back with Velociraptor de fossils, and it's making my life a little easier every time they do that. All right, so let's go ahead and throw in... Um, oh, man, should I do another emergency shelter, monorail station, or I can do the toy shop because if I do the toy shop... Uh, oh, these guys are in need of some fun. And if I... Wait, 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 wait. No, that's... This is just power. This is just power. That's right. Um, Yeah, let's go ahead and do it over here. Uh, I'm going to throw it right here. That way, we will finish this mission. As soon as the Baryonyx is done, we'll finish this one. Our reputations will go up. We'll get a little bit of a cash bonus. And we'll be working towards our profit from guest facilities. All at the same time. Time. So, while we wait for that to build, let's go ahead and build the second part of our monorail station, which is going to go perfectly right. Yeah! Oh, yeah, that's going to look great. Now I just need to be able to connect it. Sometimes it can be tricky when it's so close, but we nailed it. All right, so let's go ahead and connect these two, and we'll get some nice visibility. 
of the dinosaurs as it kind of travels over and through the Ceratosaurus enclosure. Wow. Boom, baby! Okay, toy shop. It's already maxed capacity. Holy moly, people love their toys. All right, we're going to go plushy. And let's go ahead and sell that for a nice wee bit of profit. $27 per plushie. And all right, things are starting to look great. Let's go ahead and grab another contract. Do another entertainment because we're really close to an award. We want to find deal, a dinosaur running. Well, if I just send him in with the Ceratosauruses, then the Ceratosaurus will be running after the ranger truck. <laughs> And I can just snap a photo before the death of my ranger. Oh, wait, no power. Oh, to the other monorail station, of course. I need to connect that to the grid. What am I thinking? I'm being a foolish man. All right, my power lines are not nearly as neatly organized as they have been in the past, but that's okay. All right, we've got our Baryonyx, which is a wonderful thing. And while he's being trank, no, trank and then click away, thank you. Hello, Bruce. It is so good to see you, my friend. Okay, he wants more wetland. Oh, wow. So if this isn't this big enough. The Baryonyx lived in shallows and near mm. wetlands. It possibly fed on fish, which, given its surroundings, would follow. I don't One know if this is going to be a big enough area. Hasn't changed in the intervening hundred million well, I guess years. We are about to find out, actually. All right, I'm a little concerned that this is going to be too small of an area. And if that's the case, it's not the end of the world because I could trink it, bust down this wall, and expand it this way a little bit to give him the extra room our friend needs to relax. And, oh, sweet. Look at that. Look at that. It looks so good at night with the way it's lit up like that. Look, it looks way cool. All right. We could really use... Another herbivore, which would be nice. What other herbivore has a decent rating and doesn't need a lot of friends? So if we come over here, what is your social friend? One? What? Perfect. We'll have an Ankylosaurus and an Iguanodon. And all of a sudden, as soon as the Iguanodon is hatched, we will have doubled the variety of dinosaurs in our park. <laughs> Not that it's a remarkably difficult thing to do when you only have two to double that. But nonetheless... Uh, it is. It will be accomplished. All right, so we're still dead broke, so why don't we go ahead and try to get a photo of a dinosaur running. And because they've been having such issues getting, you know, destroyed and eaten by my ceratosauruses, then we are going to go ahead and hop in the jeep and handle things ourselves, and we're going to do a little off-roading. Now that that path is gone, the ranger trucks, jeeps, whatever, now have a clear path to get to the destination. All right, there's nobody in that one. Actually, I bet you I can get the Ankylosaurus to run. If I just drove up next to it, he'd probably freak out and go like, and run, but we'll just, we'll just do the more dangerous one, because <laughs> why not? All right. Uh-oh, storm warning. And then, then they're really gonna be upset. Hold on, how do I honk? Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to be in that. I wanted to be in that. Watch this. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Everything needs to stop for a second. I just need to get everybody inside real quick. Just real quick. As the dinosaurs are about to be quite upset. Run! Somebody run! just roaring, but I don't see anyone run. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, I keep pushing the wrong button. That guy was running for a second. Someone run. Come on. There's a running right there. Ceratosaurus running. Got it. Okay. Oh, he's coming for me. No, no friend. I don't. I just wanted a picture. Please don't eat me. Oh, he's still coming. He's still coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do now, fool? <laughs> there was you. All right. Let's go ahead and repair that. Let's go ahead and repair that and repair that. And a grassland adaptation. Very good. All right, Baryonyx. Oh, look at that! Boom! 
looks fantastic. Now, the question I have for everybody in the audience, uh, and actually, it's more of a rhetorical question because this has been recorded before I can get your input. But I am curious, would he get along well with Velociraptors? Okay, come on, comfort needs to go up to 91%. 89, why is it dropping? He's good with everything. Why is your comfort dropping? It's just because of the storm? Storm's gone. Storm's gone, dude. All right, alarm activated. Let's go ahead and close it up. It's still rainy. So hope you all brought your umbrellas. Okay, it's going back up. So he was just feeling a little grumpy because it was rainy. And you know what? Who can blame the man? It is not fun to get stuck in the rain. Nobody likes that. All right, let's go ahead and throw. It's just a really simple thing that we can remedy is I know my bathroom rating is in the poopy. Not to, you know, make a joke or a pun. But you know what? I can't help myself. So we've got now toilets at the entrance. And then there's another toilet right here. That toilet is really close to that toilet. You know what? I don't like anything right here. It doesn't look good. The monorail station here, good enough. Let's go ahead and dump that. All right, so we gotta, we're putting a potty over here and we also are going to put a storm defender over here in the this way area. Dun, dun, dun. Um, yeah, I guess here. Oh, it just seems like an area where you can do so much other good things. But yeah, just throw it here. Just, Just do it, man, just do it. I don't know if it's a good idea to throw something that's supposed to, like, catch lightning right next to the monorail <laughs> into boom. <laughs> Lightning's going to strike and just zap everyone out of existence over there. <laughs> but you know what? That's, uh, it's the risk you take when you take the monorail during a lightning storm, I suppose. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. We're going to go ahead and defend over here. Make sure that we just have plenty of protection for contracts, our friends. Okay, we contracts, want 1,300 contracts. guests. We're at 1,242. So close. So close. This guy. And then, man, how nice would it be to just have a nice more row people, of buildings more here? More probability that something Take goes that wrong. power line. Because well, that power line is in the way. I am saying I told you so in advance. I uh, just... <sighs> not... Not super digging the way I've got these power lines set up right now. It's just a mess, and it's going to keep me from being able to build in the areas I want to build. So if we go around that way, then I can get rid of this. All right, so that works temporarily. What do we have here? We've got a toy shop, a clothes shop, and a restaurant. We could throw a bowling alley over here. And that'll help with fun and revenue. Oh, building constraints, because it was built on a hill. <laughs> ah, it's so lame. But it is what it is. We'll put some trees. Let's just do it right now. Let's just do it right now. Look at that. Obstructed? <laughs> That's so annoying. Uh, is there any, like, little rocks? That's a big rock. I said little rocks. Oh, yeah, that's a little rock. What? These rocks are all so big. Can we please have some? Okay, fine, fine, fine. It's beautiful. Just like that. I love it. And we will just do this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah, bushes. <laughs> love it. Some bushes and trees. <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> uh, gift shop? No gift shop in the whole park. What am I doing? Just letting money get away. Just let, just, just wishing it away is what I'm doing. All right. Let's go ahead and go there. We're going to do 10 pin. Obviously, who wants to bowl with less than 10 pins? It's not even the full bowling experience. All right. And then as soon as the gift shop's done, hey, maintain guest count, 1,300. We have made it. And we are slowly inching our way towards that security goal. And here's our Baryonyx. What's up, dude? Oh, you're a happy man. It is so good to have you as part of the park. I've never had a Baryonyx in this game before, except for Dino Diaries, and so it is great to finally check that off the list, baby! <laughs> All right, gift shop, lunchbox, 
Lunchbox is fine. Lunchbox is great. Everyone loves a $15... $18 lunchbox. Fantastic. Not worried about the management view right now. All right, we've got Baryonyx. We have Ceratosaurus. And we have Uno and Kylosaurus. And I bet you the Iguanodon has been ready for quite some time. I just left him over here because if I'm being honest, I forgot. I pr don't. Nobody tell him, though, that I forgot about him because it has nothing to do with him and everything to do with my own... Ah, <sighs> forgetfulness. Okay. Uno, dos, trace. Just keep it coming. We could do... Man, if we did... I could probably do a Brachiosaurus over here. It's probably big enough. The Brachiosaurus needs a lot of room to play and to roam. And so that might be a good location for one, actually. So... Let's go ahead and plan on putting a Brachiosaurus in that corner over there. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is prepare the guest facilities to accommodate the large and in charge Brachiosauri. Want a little curve here. And then, nope. And then this to connect right there. It's not centered. Don't care. Look at me. Such growth. <laughs> I'm showing such maturity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, throw this because everybody likes to walk right next to a substation because they're like, dang, that's the Jurassic Park experience right there. All right, let's go ahead and set up the viewing platforms first. This is going to be our Brachiosaurus pen. Baryonyxes and Brachiosauruses in the same episode? What? All right. Ooh, is this going to be a big enough area? I hope so. I'm... Uh, I'm confident, and we can build like a massive amount of herbivores in this one facility because the Brachiosauruses play nice with their friends. All right, so we've got one viewing platform for this, and then we're gonna go another one here on the corner to give a good view, and then... Oh, ooh, ooh, no, what have I done? Look at that, ugh! Looks terrible. That looks perfect. All right, and then we're going to come to this end as well and make sure that we've got the view covered. We want to make sure that regardless of where the dinosaurs are, that there is a way for our guests to see them. All right, this should about do it. And then we will also have the monorail come around through here and that'll be uh, some extra visibility as well. So what we have to do obviously at this point is, well, get a full Brachiosaurus <laughs> genome. It's kind of important. If we want to have one in the park, we should probably start working on making sure that, you know, wait, no power. Are we out of power again? That There's no way. There's no way. Outer protection, improved output, improved output. Do we really need another power station already? Oh, these stupid Iguanodon. This is the second time I've completely forgot about them. <laughs> Gotta be a little bit more on top of it. All right, we've got $404,000. Not nearly enough, something tells me. Where's my Brachiosaurus? Oh my gosh. It's not even a complete genome? Wait a second. Here he is, here he is. All right, we are at... 91 percentiles. All right, let's go ahead and send out some guys. Woo! We got a full house. Protecting our guests is All right, yeah, 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 George, George, priority. George. Relax, I'm in the middle of a thinking process, my friend. Our security profile. Where is my... Okay, well, there's a Brachiosaurus. So it's important that you consider it. Isn't there one that's just a Brachiosaurus? I think there was, and I think it was, yeah, it was that one right there. That contract is complete. Okay. That means you've done good. I know. Keep this up, and you'll be a star player. Thanks, dude. All right, we're, and then we're going to save the rest of the money right now. Okay, speaking of money, um, lots of good stuff from here. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. We're at 1.79 million all of a sudden. That was really fast. Uh, dang, we're going to be able to trick out our Brachiosaurus a little bit, too. By the time we have the 100% genome, 
we will be able to, yeah, make it make it a, a really modded one, which would be fantastic for our ratings. Okay, so we're going to just make this as large as possible because do you remember that being an issue in the past and just I didn't make the Brachiosaurus cage big enough and I don't want to make that mistake again and then have to expand. All right, so we're gonna go inside and then hook it in and then here to here. There we go, that looks really nice. And they want lots and lots of, you guessed it, trees, obviously, come on now. Come on, son. How's my visibility of this pen? There is a little corner up there which people aren't going to see anything, but that's all right. Since there is no visibility there, that's where we'll throw a tree there. Let's just throw cheeries along the entire back end. Yeah, and then like trees sporadically. All right, that should make them happy. And then we'll throw the water in an area where it is accessible to the guest's site. Might be a bit much. You really ranged in on that contract. All right, then Good we to know need you're on our side. Enclosures. We're going to need tall herbivore feeders. That's a job well done. Which we will do in sight of the guests again. So we'll do one there. And we will do one here. And then we're going to have some ground feeders as well for our other dinosaurs that we will have in the area. Just want to make sure those are all in view. They look great. Fossils have been found. So let's hop over to the fossil center. And hope for Brachiosaurus. All Diplodocus. Dang, every single one of them that came back was a Diplodocus. Please, oh no. It's going to be like that one dinosaur we were trying to find. Oh gosh. It's, we're going to be searching all over the place again. Okay, so obviously this is far off the beaten path. So what we're really needing here is another monorail station because this is quite the walk from the entrance over here and even from one monorail station to the next. And so we want to make sure we are making this a little more accessible to, oh man. Okay, sweet. Just barely was able to make that work, but we did find a way to squeeze it in there. All right, let's go here and then because this is so far away from everything else, we need to make sure that we are also handling some of our other bases, such as emergency shelters, restrooms, and food, and storm defense, and all of that good stuff. So we got the, the emergency shelter. Let's go ahead and do the restroom real quick. That is outside the range of the substation, so we obviously have to make a new one which we'll just throw right there. And then, oof. I wonder if I'm about to run out of power again. I hope not, but I'm probably gonna have to make another power station. Oh man. All right, fast food joint. We don't have one of those yet, so we'll put one there. And then we will do a restaurant in this corner, and this seems like a nice spot for one. And then a little bit of shopping. What's more fun for people? This is a good rating of fun and shopping. So we're going to throw that there. <coughs> and that should be... An, wow, this is starting to take shape. This is pretty good. I am enjoying the way that this park is coming together. Now, where... Okay, they're about to come back. Bring me back some Brachiosaurus. Come on, let's see it. Just going to wait here. Okay, got a big one. Sick. Yes, okay, that, those two should be enough to complete my Brachiosaurus genome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and start playing around with said genome and see what we can boost their rating up to. It's gonna get really expensive. Wow, look at all these different patterns. Let's go 1993 pattern A. And then what boosts our rating? This is a 28%, it's fantastic. Another 28%. 28. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a killer rating. All right. So this doesn't actually help at all. So let's see. So what is this saying? So the grassland, this is making it want grassland more, but less forest. 
And this is the other way around. So how about we just don't do any of that right now? Because I think I've got the pin to where it needs to be. Wow, viability is down to 21%. Dang, that's really low. And it's really, really expensive. Perhaps I should stop here. I'm kind of curious what we can get it to, though, if I just keep looking through. All right, so w let me see real quick. Social would be one if we just keep it like that. I wish we could do that. 2.95 million with a viability of minus 15%. <laughs> so, that minus 15% is a little much for me to swallow. All right, but this I can take. 23% viability, and with the, let's see, the success upgrades, what do these do? Increases it by 20, so that would get it 20, 40, 60, 80, and it was at 20 what? I'm already forgetting. Where are you, Bracky? Bracky! We're at da -da 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 -da, viability 23, so it would be at 83%. Do we feel confident with 83% or that would be 101%. So that's a guarantee, Brachiosaurus. And it's a little bit cheaper, but most importantly, it's a guarantee Brachiosaurus. So that's what we're going to go with right here. The 1.8 or the $1.9 million. That you might find interesting. Okay, facility rating I of 3.0. We are well on our way. And we'll go ahead and send two guys out. And yeah, we really need that science contract, actually. Because uh, our science is looking a little sad. Thankfully, throughout the entirety of this Let's Play so far, we have yet to encounter any kind of sabotage from any of the, um, from any of the organizations, which is nice, because that is the worst. <laughs> it is so annoying when you get sabotage. Okay, unused power, still 34 unused power. So that's pretty decent right there. We have got a little bit of room to play, but obviously we've got a vast network of park to still create that we have not even gotten to yet. But we are going to go ahead and wait just a momento. I was about to start building some other stuff, but we are so close to our Brachiosaurus and we're making 291 per minute. As soon as we have the Brachiosaurus, that's gonna jump up substantially. So we're bringing in more people because our dinosaur rating is going to go up. And I never, you know what? I never checked on my Iguanodon. I think I just assumed he would be happy with Mr. Old Man Anki. And thankfully he is happy. That would have been unfortunate if he would have been upset. But he's a good little dude. Him and the Ankylosaurus, they're just chilling together. <laughs> Having a great old time. Just the two of them. Wait. Unless the Yankee abandoned ship. No, he's hanging out over here. He is acting like a bit of a loner, this guy, though. <laughs> he's like, why is this guy in here with me? <laughs> Woe is me. All right, we got the Brachiosaurus going. For a second, I got really nervous because I saw I had no money. I'm like, crap, what did I spend that money on? Right, the Brachiosaurus. Da -da 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 -da. I'd like to get a second Yankee and a second Iguanodon uh, just to get everything um, just to double up on them because I can and it's not going to hurt my variety and they'd all be happy with a second and they're good with that population amount because four if we just make two iguanodons in that little area and two ankylosauruses and they would be perfectly happy and we could just boost another 83 and 84 rating dinosaur rating out into the world and obviously we're gonna wanna have a second Brachiosaurus and maybe even throw a Diplodocus back there. Uh, of course, that's all dependent on whether or not they're actually happy <laughs> with the home that we've built them. Cause there is a chance, of course, as with anything that they're going, we're gonna put them in there and they're gonna be like, what is this crap? I hate it, get me out. But we're gonna hope that that isn't the case. But what we are actually going to do right now is we are going to end the episode right here and we are going to launch our next episode with the reveal and release of the, the Brachiosaurus. Great. But for now, we are going to end and be satisfied with the fact that we got a Baryonyx today. 
and have expanded the park vastly. And, oh, look at these contracts just left and right. We got lots of money coming into the park. We completed a contract. Everyone's happy with us. And, man, things are just going really, really well. So, anyway, this is where we're going to end the episode. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single day. Thanks again for watching, guys. And we will see all of you on the flip side.